Hey, how's it going all you most amazing top tanners? Are you guys planning on traveling? Well, are you guys planning on traveling to New York? If you guys are, you have found the right place. I'm Landon, and I'm about to talk about a top 10 list about things to do in New York. Don't forget to let me know in a future video what top 10s you guys want to see next, and what place should I do a top 10 about? Which country, which city, let me know. So all aboard, choo choo, because some of you guys might be able to travel by train to New York. We'll start off this list in at number 10. The first place to travel is Grand Central Station. This is a community commuter railroad terminal at 42nd Street and Park Avenue in Midtown Manhattan. It covers about 48 acres and has 44 platforms, which is the most ever than any other railroad stations in the world. Here you can see the most famous terminal in the nation, up close and personal on several tours, including a self-guided audio tour and a daily guided tour. You can also eat and stop by the I Love New York booth. Up next, in at number 9, we have Coney Island. This is a residential neighborhood beach, and also it has leisure and entertainment destinations on the Atlantic Ocean in Brooklyn, New York. Coney Island is well known as the site of amusement parks and a seaside resort. The current amusement park has various rides and games such as skee ball and ball toss. And of course for you adventure seekers out there, because I know there's some of you out there, there are several rides including the Cyclone, which is a roller coaster ride that was built in 1927, or the Wonder Wheel, which is a Ferris wheel built back in 1918. But no worries, they probably did maintenance and upkeep since, you know, Oh. It was built. Number eight brings us to the Rockefeller Center. It is located in the center of the Midtown Manhattan, spanning the area between Fifth Avenue and Sixth Avenue. It was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1987. Here you can admire beautiful views of New York City all year long, and it is the home to numerous events, including the lighting of the famous Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Tourists have opportunities to go backstage and behind the scenes of some of the most popular shows on television in this one location. And this is also the place I'm always going to remember if because my best buddy Liam, who's my best man at my wedding coming up 2017, well, he just proposed to his girlfriend, now fiance, right in front of that tree. Amazing. Okay, so now we make our way over to the Brooklyn Bridge in at number seven. This is a must see. This bridge was completed in 1883 and it was one of the oldest bridges in the United States. It connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn over the East River. Access to the bridge is 24 hours a day and it is the most beautiful at any time of day. However, if you visit the bridge at sunset, you can take in the views of both Brooklyn, Manhattan, and the Statue of Liberty while there is still light out. So because all buses and coach are banned from the bridge, you can either walk or ride a bike to tour the bridge, which is awesome. All you history buffs out there, this one's for you. If you're planning on visiting New York, you have to go to the American Museum of Natural History, and this brings us into number six. This is something that I did recently, and honestly, it was the biggest place ever, and it was so amazing. There is so much to do, so much to learn, and so much walking around, which is fun. This museum is located on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, and it is one of the largest museums in the world. The museum has collections of over 32 million specimens of plants, humans, animals, fossils, minerals, rocks, meteorites, and human cultural artifacts. There are so many exhibitions, so be sure that you plan this as like a full day visit because you don't want to miss out on anything. Let's explore our way into number five. And we're talking about Central Park as your next destination. Central Park is an urban park in middle upper Manhattan within New York City. Central Park is the most visited urban park in the United States, as well as the most filmed locations in the world. A lot of your favorite movies, you'll actually see that the background is Central Park. It's just so big. There's so much to do inside of the park, from getting into a horse-drawn carriage, visiting a zoo, riding the carousel, there's even a skating rink there, and there's a castle as well. And also don't forget to grab one of those salted pretzels because they're so good. Up next in the number four, one destination you surely don't want to miss is the National September 11 Memorial and Museum. Okay, this one guys gets a little bit serious. The memorial site and museum commemorate the September 11, 2001 attacks which killed 2,977 victims. And the World Trade Center bombing of 1993 which killed six. The memorial is located at the World Trade Center site which the former location of the Twin Towers were. The memorials have pools that are nearly an acre in size and feature the largest man-made waterfall in North America. The pool sits within the footprints where the Twin Towers once stood. The names of every person who died in 2001 and also the 1993 attacks is inscribed onto bronze panels along the memorial pools. The museum displays artifacts that are also associated within the events of the 9-11. There's also tours available that explain everything that went on that day. A lot of these tours are walking tours and the 
tour guides have to have been a part of the 9-11 attacks, whether that be they were in it or they were around it during that day, or they had someone directly like family or friend who was a part of it. Okay, so this next tourist location is very popular, and of course I'm talking about Times Square, and this comes into number three. This is a major intersection and neighborhood in Midtown Manhattan that is covered with billboards and advertisements. Times Square is often referred to as a crossroads of the world or the center of the universe. This is a very popular tourist attraction that draws in nearly 50 million visitors a year. Times Square is the home to top destinations such as Naked Cowboy, ABC's Times Square Studios, and Planet Hollywood. And there's also a lot of restaurants and souvenir shops all around Times Square. All right, so we're climbing our way up into number two. We have the Empire State Building, which is pretty tall. The Empire State Building is a 102 story skyscraper that is located in Midtown Manhattan. It stands a total of 1,250 feet, and it was once the world's tallest building in the world. Here you have to walk through exhibits to learn more of the history of the building. There's dine-in restaurants, and of course when you're up there, just take in the amazing views. You can walk all around the Empire State Building getting every city view you want. Alright, so the number one thing that you guys must do when you go into New York, can you guys guess that there's one thing that I've, I haven't talked about yet. Well, coming into number one, we're talking about the Statue of Liberty. I thought this one would be obvious to put at number one, but let me give you guys a little bit of background information on what it is. The Statue of Liberty was designed by a French sculptor, and it was a gift to the United States. And this was from the people of France. This statue is an icon of freedom and the United States, and it is the welcoming sight to immigrants arriving from abroad. Admission to the Statue of Liberty monument is free with the purchase of a ferry ticket. If you can, it is highly recommended that you take the 393 stairs from the base to the crown. Your hard work will be rewarded with stunning views of New York City. However, only 240 people are permitted to ascend the staircase a day, so you must make reservations or you're going to be disappointed when you get there. There is a lot of like backlog and you're going to have to like way pre-book this if you want to do it, but absolutely a thing you have to do in New York. Well, there you guys have it. This is the top 10 things you got to do in New York. Let me know if I've missed anything in the comment section below. Also, what top 10 videos should I make next? That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Which place do you guys want me to do next? Which is the next top 10 place? Is it a city? Do you want another country? Maybe I'll do like Australia or Japan, Tokyo. Maybe I'll do a top 10 thing on Canada. Have I done that one yet? I don't think so. Let me know all you guys' thoughts, all of your comments in the comment section below because I do go through all of them. I read as many as I can. And if you guys want to continue watching videos just beside me, there's two of them. You can give one of those a click. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.